Grab him. He was fine, but let's just let's just start to. Fred! Good, good, good. Sit him down. Dad ain't messing around. This is Raleigh, a five-year-old coon hound mix. The walk-up is very important, all right? He, he has nipped people, he has nipped a child, and he has gone after dogs. So that walk-up is so important because I see the initial what this dog thinks about people when they roll up. And this was actually really good. It, minus that jump on the gate, which was not bad, he seemed to like people. And that's what I'm talking about right now. I'm like, he looks great. Like you can just see it in his eyes when he saw me and in his ears and in his tail that he's just happy to see me. But he has nipped people and it has been somewhat sporadic or random. So good on them for bringing him in in a muzzle. He is going to wear a muzzle for all the dog meetings today because he has been, that e-collar has been used and it has been random at dogs. So we just can't be too careful. He wore a muzzle with all dog meetings. The muzzle did come off with people, including me, because he looked so good the whole session. So what I'm going to do in this session is I'm going to do a voiceover for a few minutes and describe what's going on. And then I'm going to go to the original audio so that you guys can hear a bunch. I left this almost this whole session, except for the, you know, a couple just boring parts where we're moving dogs around, left the whole session for you guys, including the whole talk at the end of the session of what's going on. This video is for you folks with a feisty dog, people aggression, people reactivity, dog aggression, dog reactivity, because we have to really nail down what's going on with this guy. Some of the hardest sessions, actually probably the hardest sessions are the ones where the dogs are really good. He goes at Prince one time half-assed, but he's good, but it's so important for you guys with dogs like this to watch this whole session because we have to start to eliminate things. Okay, it's not this. Okay, it's not this. Okay, it's not this for the people and dog stuff. So right when you go to original audio, you're going to see me do the handshake method, right? Which is I'm going to have, while the dog is away from the owners, shake the owner's hands and let the dog see that the owners have accepted me into this, into their world. I can't tell you how important this is for people reactivity. Think about you walking down the street with your dog. Maybe you got your kids there and some dude comes walking up. Nice person, maybe big person, and your dog freaks out on him or your dog nips him or your dog barks and you get all scared and go, oh my God, my dog's becoming aggressive. You don't have any idea what's going on in your, in your dog's mind. Now, it's not always just like, oh, my dog's protecting me, but it could be nervousness. It could be resource. It could be a lot of things, but you don't have an, any idea what's going on in their mind. But after I shake these folks' hands, do you think, and they look at me and smile and we should, even right now, there is a, as we're walking down, there is a, we, we as the owners have accepted Joel into our lives, dog. But the handshake, there's something about touching the owner, shaking hands or hugging that really solidifies that we have accepted Joel or a new person into our life. Super duper important. Okay, so you're gonna see that in the video and me, hear me explain it to them. You're gonna see him meet a bunch of dogs and look essentially perfect. But during this whole session, I could tell while they're really chill and cool and whatnot, I could tell that they were nervous when, whenever the dog was off the muzzle and I had to, I sensed that and I really had to be careful because you, the best for you dog trainers out there, one of the best things is to pick up on subtle cues from the owners. If they're nervous, both of them, you, there's a reason for it, okay? Again, the dog had used an e-collar before, so you've heard me talk about that. It can, it can sometimes, if used incorrectly, sometimes do some weird things uh, to the dog where it's sort of random and sporadic uh, and intense aggression. All right, there is a point at this too that you're gonna kind of hear later where when, when Prince is meeting Raleigh and Raleigh leaves me to go see Prince, I simply stop and Raleigh hits the end of the leash. And you can hear the owner, the, the lady, she kind of makes, she goes, oh, she kind of makes a little noise. It's subtle. You're not going to hear it, but it's subtle. And then we talk about it later because I had to get them, especially her, to really go, go, he's fine. 
he's okay. We can be tougher on this guy. And they're actually good owners. Like they're like, we, but they, they could be better in the, he's not our baby kind of way. And I often ask owners like, do you have kids? Because if they have kids, it's, it's different than if they don't. And I'm like, you, we gotta, we gotta be a little tougher on this guy. Okay. And tell him that it's okay to do that. All right. I'm going to leave this video in the entirety for the most part. If you have a reactive dog, this is a good video for you. All right. So it's Raleigh, five-year-old coon hound, dog reactive, people reactive. All right. Raleigh. Here, shake my hand real quick. Hi, how are you? It's good to see you again. Hi, how are you? It's good to see you again. So if Raleigh is uncool to me from this point forward, do you know how uncool that is of him? I just, you just accepted me into your life. Okay. Yeah. Can he be mean to me? He shouldn't, no. Shouldn't, no. No. And he, there's consequences if you're mean okay. to me. I'm not some dude on the street with my hood up who's like walking up to the family. I'm like a part of the family. He cannot do anything to me. And if he does, you guys need to make a noise that marks it and go grab his little butt and sit him down over there. Does, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have just accepted me. You can't be mean to me. Okay. It's really a tenant of my training. Like... You guys have to know what, what's, that something's seriously uncool, you know? Mm -hmm. You know attacking dogs uncool and biting a kid in the butt is uncool. Yeah. Being at all not cool to me is really uncool now that you've accepted me, mm -hmm. you know? Right over here, where you can see. Yeah. Rally, don't worry about them. You can meet your friend. Look, I'm ready. Oh, he's out. Look at, look at this dog. That's your friend. So he's on a leash. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. He's on a leash and he said, I'm leaving. And I stopped and he hit the end of the leash. Like, you're on a leash. Where are you going? That's your friend. Are you going to be nice to him? Okay, I am ready. Hold on. I am ready. He knows he's unneutered right now. Okay. Hmm. Well, he looks perfect. Jeez, Prince, that was crazy. Good boy, Prince. Prince, he's a good boy. Prince, he's a good boy. Okay, I want you guys to call Prince and grab his collar and pet Prince. Okay. Prince. Grab his collar, pet, grab, <laughs> keep petting him. Okay, now we're gonna, this is a trigger, keep holding him. Okay, this is a trigger that he does not care about, which is good. Sometimes they go, no, 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 that's my mommy and daddy. You can't, you can let him go, we're over it. He's already good. Okay, next step, what we're going to do is we are going to um, take off the, uh, we're going to let him run. We're going to take this off. What is that? The gentle leader? Chill, dude. Oh, that's the muzzle. Here, help me put that muzzle back on. I took the muzzle off, not the gentle leader. Then we're going to take off the gentle leader. It's, it's under here. Bro. Okay, go nuts, dude. Go nuts with your friend. If he does anything uncool, it's a, it's a clap and a grab from all of us. Okay? Oh. 
<laughs> I don't think he can do it. I don't think he can really drink from that. He's eating treats, he's in all kinds of things, and that's why. <laughs> okay, let's go to the pool area. You actually probably can. It like goes. It's like seeping through the muzzle. Yeah. Okay, watch your step. You guys should be pretty happy. Watch your stuff. I'm still so nervous. <laughs> yeah. I'm not used to having them around other dogs, really. So, get ready. Mohawk now. I want you to be ready. Yeah. Like, seriously ready. I've seen these things go bad, okay? Yeah. There's some trigger, whether it's prey drive or something. Now he's in a muzzle, but we gotta be on him for a lot of reasons. One, what if he goes at Prince, then Prince goes at him, then it, yeah. then, we, look it, we gotta see these yeah. triggers, too. Like, Let's see if anything bothers him, yeah. okay? Yeah. Now the good, Prince, hey. good. What's it? Let him, good job, Clap. good job. Well, that, you're right to maybe yell, but there really wasn't anything to it. Prince was being really rough and he's like, okay, that's enough. Just used to that sound. The worst trigger is you guys, you guys, anyone, petting their dog while another dog comes. We saw a fight here the other day. Dog was just like this and great, and then the owner went down and pet his dog, and then Prince came up, who he'd been friends with for five minutes, and he went, or another dog came up and he went at that other dog. That's the worst trigger 99% of the time. Hmm. I didn't do it because I saw in your video that you had oh. you told someone not to, and you like told them to like meet him instead. Yeah, get him out of here. Yeah. Go be a dog. Don't stand by mommy. Like yeah, exactly. Like even if we're walking and like someone walk by and we find if they start speaking to me, it gets. All right. I, I mean, I think minus more dogs. If when once we get to more dogs and we see him perfect, I think I got it kind of figured out what's going on. We're gonna have to. I don't want to tell you now. I want to sit down and tell you. But he could be bad at the dog, and then that. It would change it. It changes it. But if he's this good with dogs, I think I pretty much got it figured out what's going on. I mean, I used to take him everywhere. He used to like yeah. dog park every day. Like, yeah, it used to be so good. Loved, so, like, loved everyone, loved everything. Old. Yeah. And then after the the bite with the child was like totally out of nowhere. And then after that, it's kind of. But that's also like we've gotten worse about like socializing. And stuff yeah. We're afraid. Yeah. I think you got. You guys don't have. You guys don't have kids, do you? No. No. Yeah. I think you guys got it. Well, if you had your own child. We don't know. He'd be Obviously. fine. He's like loved it's, it. it's a baby. Yeah. And then, then there's a growing process. That, 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 that's a long ways away. Yeah. We're not planning on having kids anytime soon. So. Okay. My, here's my, my point of you not having <laughs> kids. We're swimming. It's in all kinds of stuff. <laughs> what are we doing? They love it here. He's going to fall in. He has fallen into water before. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, I do want to say on YouTube, by the way, like, don't be offended if I need to be like, say something in the thumbnail. It ha it's a clicky. If I'm like, aggressive dog meets Prince, like, like, don't be like, hey, or if, you know? Okay. It's a game. Yeah, I mean, in a way, he was. Yeah. Okay, here's my point about kids. I think you guys, I think he's your kid. And there needs to, once you have kids, if you have kids, you're gonna learn like, like a sort of, this isn't all soft games, like, like, like it's not all positive, it's not all stretchy leashes. Yeah. It's like, sit, you know, knock it off. And I think people without kids, it's like he's like your baby, but we're kind of over he's being your baby, guys. Yeah, yeah we're over it. But you gotta change. It's hard to change into that mode. Someone sometimes needs to tell you. No more stretchy leashes. The stretchy leash it made a point to me. We just like we thought just that like one was color. nice looking and we didn't we didn't know. Yeah, he used to just have a normal But it's a stretch to it. <laughs> yeah. Which softens the blow. Yeah. That makes sense. So I just didn't you think knew about it. <laughs> Subconsciously maybe you did. Yeah. yeah. I mean there's a stretch to 
to yeah. it. Yeah. That's the main function of it. Yeah. But you didn't know that. I just was looking for a brown leaf. Oh. <laughs> well, if you literally like just like the color, then I take it back. <laughs> I mean, we're usually pretty good about like discipline, and we're not like people that just let him do whatever he wants All right. generally. Um, but maybe All right. There's a. Him. Yeah. There's a lot of like like, you know. I mean, I asked. I asked if you were okay up there because the minute he hit the leash, I thought I heard like a like you being like, oh, or something. That's. Well, I think I said something because then I was See? like, See? Oh, That's my point. <laughs> that's my point. Like I, I pick up on, on these yeah. little, like that's my point. Like the guy rushed to a dog on a leash. Yeah. He hit, I didn't do anything. He hit the end of the leash. Like yeah. it's, he, he, that, so what if he hit the end of the leash? I wasn't like, it wasn't at you, it was like at I know, you know. I know, I know. <laughs> it's him, yeah. I know, I know. And I immediately recognized, I was like, I can't say anything else. I can't make any noises. I'm glad you did. It's 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 telling, you know, and I think that's that's what we gotta figure I'm out. I'm definitely aware that we're part of it, <laughs> yeah. like me specifically. Well, he looks really good. He has taken every thing from Prince, and it's been a lot, a lot of even dominance, and not really dominance. Prince hasn't been dominant. It's just been really rough play, and he he really enjoys it. Now, famous last words, like we gotta be careful, but. <laughs> But, I mean, all right, let's go do more dogs, okay? Now, these are now other people's dogs. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he loves it. <laughs> he loves rough play. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it sucks that we're not giving that to him because he enjoys it so much. Yeah. Oh, now we are. It sucks you're not doing it in life because yeah. he loves it. It's a part of it. It needs to be a part of his life. And Prince likes him. He's a likable dog. Okay. Be ready. I want you guys to be ready because I'm now doing other stuff. So even if he's too much, like right there, he kind of pinned Prince and kind of was like, it, it's fine. But like if you see Prince be like, okay, you're too much. Let's start to say hey or something and then go grab him calm him over there and then let him go again okay you're a good boy princey see your friend see your friend okay no i want someone uh probably a female uh calm Maisie's just so much Bo might avoid grab him he was fine, but let's just let's just start to Prince! Hey, come here. Good, good, good. Sit him down. Dad ain't messing around. Now, whose fault was that? I don't know. Prince felt the need to get mad at him. I don't know why. I think it was here. Just the Prince is like, what are you doing? I don't know. We gotta rewatch re it. Go ahead and let him go. You're okay. You're okay. Now you gotta watch him. Because that dog just went at him. And maybe he's now like not not as cool with the dog. Right? I know, you're a good boy. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened between you two. He didn't go full on mad at Prince for getting mad at him. That's good. Uh, Mesha, or Bo? Mesha. Always Mesha. Now we know that Prince will kind of go back too. Prince sometimes, he kind of went back at him. All right, let's go. Here, we'll let him say through the fence. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna go gentle leader back on, leash back on, Mesha out. Sit, sit. Oh, let me help you here. Yeah, you hold him. Come here, I'll do it. Sit. I'm ready for Mesha out. All right, out here, yeah. Come on, you're gonna see your friend? Let's all just kind of spread out. Rob, you're gonna see your friend? Look at your friend. Look at your friend. Yeah. Female, big. Ignore Mesha, please. Mesha! Dude. Thank you for ignoring.
that jump <laughs> on you. Okay. He's rough. He's like a rough smeller and a rough player. It's not bad. Prince is super. Rough. Oh my god. Let's let someone else to the side. No, uh, female's good. Okay, this dog, guys, please ignore and give a little knee to if she jumps. Okay, let's go Prince. Carly. Stop and keep us Prince, someone. Prince in the house. The Maisie out. You see your friend? Come on. Maisie out, please. Okay, everyone to the pool. Good job, walk right into them. <clears throat> Sit. 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 Stay. Stay. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen that. It was like stuck to her mouth. Get ready. All right, I think we keep the friend group to this at this point. Jeez, he's a gooser. He took that, he took that getting mad at him from Prince really well. Hmm. Prince got mad at him. And he took it really well. He's into her, you know. You actually gotta watch him right now, he just looks. That's good, he looks good. I love that he's so good on that muzzle too. Maisie! Chill. I know, it's a lot. He's neutered, he's been neutered for a while. Yes, he was like six weeks old or something. That is really young. Maybe he was a little bit. When was he neutered? It was pretty early. Huh? Six months. That's better than six weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got him at like six weeks. Hey! Okay. Air hump. Yeah, he just air humps. He only does that like once every three years or so. It's always in the air, never. Yeah. Leave it. Okay, let's go up. Uh, every, they'll come. Come on, guys. 
Oh, you all right? Yeah, okay. Much. All your friends are leaving. Okay, let's go. These dogs away. Hey! Raleigh. Leave it. Okay. Come on, guys. Misha, how do you feel about today? I would feel good if I were you guys. Yeah. yeah. He met three dogs and was perfect. Yeah. It's yeah. good. That's good. You could have, we could have today opened the floodgates for like him being good with dogs. You know what I'm saying? The next dog he meets could be awesome yeah. because of that. Um, I do think that the main problem is some subtle, some subtle uh, uh, discipline problems. <laughs> Like you said, we're pretty severe with him. And then, but, and then, you know, like, and I think you are, I think you guys do a, like an okay job at it, but not a good job at it. And I think with this dog, we need a good to great. Just leave him, Dawson. Just, just ignore him. <laughs> uh, well, I think we need to do good to great with him. And I think you're okay at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you see my sit down there to take the gentle leader off? Sit. Okay. He's like, yeah. Uh, there's a lot going on. I don't feel like sitting. Yeah. I don't care. Pot, I give him a little correction. Then he sat, then I went to take it off. I didn't say stay, but I also didn't release him, which maybe he doesn't know, but <clears throat> I went to take the leash gentle leader off, and he got up three times, and I was like, no nonsense, sit your butt down. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's what I've said before. Like, I don't, I think he thinks he <clears throat> like, will listen to us, but he doesn't have to. Yeah, yeah. And how do we get him... How do we get him to know he has to? Yeah. By what I did down there. I gave him a correction for getting up. And I stood there. It was like an aura, you know, that I think you guys can definitely need to get to. I think this dog is going to be pretty darn good. Weird house stuff. But it's like family members who have come over, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, it's weird. He knows them. Yeah, he knows yeah. them. Most of them, he's been my mom. He's like gone for my mom twice and my sister twice. And he, like, loves them. Like it's very what the hell's his problem? It's super weird. And it's like, and then five seconds later, he's back to like loving them. What do you guys do when he's done that? Um, we'll like remember. reprimand him. It's been it's been a while. Um, but we'll like reprimand him and then. What does that him. mean? Reprimand like him. Yell at him. Yep. Like, and then grab him. Yeah, grab yep. him. Put him in a kennel. And it just doesn't seem to make a difference. Um, all right. Does he sleep in your bed? Yes, we gotta stop. Okay, he's not your equal, like he's down here, you run the house, he's here. He's got to know that. The guest coming into the house can't bite you. But if he sleeps in the bed, like you're all just the same. Yeah. Like it's you three. You know, I don't care. My first dog slept in our bed. He, he also didn't bite people. Yeah. Does he come to you and called? 60% of the time. Okay. Do you, have you seen the go get method? My videos? If he doesn't come to you? Probably come. And he's like sniffing or not doing anything. Maybe give him another one, like a clap. So he's like, you can't get here. Probably come. He goes, I don't feel like it. We head out after him and we grab him and we bring him back and we tell him to sit down. And we're not terribly happy that we had to come get him. Okay? Yep. Pulling you on, does he pull you on walks? If, if both, both of, of us, us go, go, yeah. But if only one of us goes, he doesn't. He doesn't pull, yeah. All right. We just don't want pulling. Yep. These are my four things. Pulling you on down the street has to stop. Coming to you when you called, reasonably, my dog doesn't have a hundred, my dog has a 99% recall. I'm not saying you need a 100% recall, but you need to work on it. Mm -hmm. Sleeping in your bed and jumping on you when you get home. Yeah. Okay, so I think we need to eliminate sleeping in the bed 100% of the time. Does he need to be off the furniture entirely? That's a decision we have to make. I mean, he's biting people and dogs, and I see him be good with people and dogs. I think we need to take away a lot of stuff. Like, if we want to fix it, I feel like we can fix it with this like subtle stuff. And that's, it's pretty easy to say don't be on the furniture more if we can get a 50% reduction in the biting of people stuff. Yeah. Who cares, right? So I think we need to go off the furniture too. Okay. And what about? Because so, it's all house, it's a lot of house stuff too, and that's in the house. Yeah. What, what about? about? Um, with, with food. I didn't see that on there. Did I miss that? No, he... He on has the some paperwork. food aggression, um, aggressive. very food aggressive, but he's very... To people. Um, yeah, to me, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, to him. Yeah. Really, just to you. 
Well, you're gonna, he's going to let everyone get in the way. He will let me sit in front of the bowl to, and do whatever. He doesn't like Nick being close to his bowl. But we also, like, give him... I meant more like we give him... We give him stuff. Oh, we give him table scraps. Yeah. Does that, is uh, that, does that contribute to... Food aggression? What? His bowl, right? He'll growl and hunker over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if table scraps... I don't think it's good, but I don't think it affects that. See, I'm like pretty reasonable. Like if he gets be on the couch, we'll let him be on the couch. I don't know if table scraps help or hurt the food aggression. I actually know if it would make him think that he's I more know. like equal. Or I know. Whatever. It's a little more subtle than on the bed. It might. Yeah. Because we don't like just hint. Like I don't just hand him my plate. Like he doesn't right. jump on the table or anything, but we will like knock stuff on the ground for him. Whatever. Yeah. If this was my dog... I would start running my house like militarily a little bit okay. in order to overcorrect and then we can we can scale it back. Okay. Okay. If this was my dog and he went into my house and let's say I didn't have kids, I'd be like, he's on the couch. I'd be like, I'd make a noise like that's shocky when he's on. And then I go, I'd be like, I don't want to be, I can get mean, but I'd be like, Get off. And the dog's like, no. I'd grab his collar and I'd pull him off and I'd say, go to your bed. Like, the, it's all the same stuff, like biting people. And then afterwards being like, what did I do? And running out of the house at a dog is a little different. But like, you can enjoy your dog, but like run your house differently. Yep. Does it, do you think you know how? Just based on the little bit I've showed you and told you right now. Can you envision you going home and, and doing this? Yeah. 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 Do you need more specific? I, I should give you more specific stuff. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Because we really want, we re, like, we're kind of like at our, like, we're kind of like at the end. Like, we really want it to be fixed, like, whatever we have to do. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Then okay. We'll do it right. <clears throat> Let's, let's go specific here. I think the attitude is the most important thing because then you can, you can figure the specifics out, I think. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, oh, well, we're at home. You're like, gray. You're like, what should we do? Well, what would Joel do? Like, you can kind of figure out any situation, minus breaking up a dogfight or something complex. Mm -hmm. But like, um... Um, no furniture, no beds. Okay, the food aggression. Uh, what do you think will bite you? Yeah, yeah for he sure. Would, he would bite him. Yeah. yeah. He's like kind of backed me down one time. <laughs> and like, what just like straight up wasn't listening. Usually like, like when I yell at him, he'll like listen. I think it starts to get a little funky. But I got, I can't remember what. I was like walking in if, between. If he gets down low. Yeah, it's yeah. A, if it's his food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do now? You just leave him alone. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah, for the most part, just leave him. There's Don't bother him. two schools of thought. One is just leave the dog just alone. alone. Yeah. I see it as a problem, but I don't know if it's still something we're like ready to fight. You know. Yeah. So I'd say definitely just leave him alone. And then when you start to say, change some things in life, like, like, you can kind of reapproach that and mm. and get closer to the bull and go. My God, he didn't growl at me, and I was two five feet away when usually he would growl at me, at that distance. Okay, the no bed thing, the being hardcore thing is starting to work. Yep. Let's just let's not tackle that now. Sure. Um, do you think this? I'm switching gears a little bit because I we're all still like I see you guys as he goes up. Somebody you watch him because you've seen him just yeah. bite people, you know and. And it I've just seen it like that, which is like he can be real friendly like this, and then all of a sudden he's just not friendly anymore. Do you think I'm going to ask you a serious question based on that and what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a great dog that if he bites somebody at this point, I don't think there's any doubt he has a mental illness. Yeah. If he bites somebody, why the hell would he bite somebody? Like I'm I'm being serious, and I think this is now a real talk. Like he would bite. He would bite her? She had, yeah. standing there. Sometimes it seems like I it. don't think if she was just standing there, but if she know. did something that he didn't like, he might, yeah. He but but, but no. what that is is so, like, random. Yeah. Like, we don't really know what it is that sets them, sets them off, which is part of the problem. Like, what? Like, if he's right here, 
And I don't go to pet him fast, but even if I go to pet him, he knows me, he's been accepted in life, he likes me. If I even went like that and he bite me, it, it doesn't make any sense, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, which makes me think like, either there's something just a little screw loose, which is possible, or you guys have just done a not a great job of of him just thinking he can do what literally whatever the hell he wants. Not in life, not everywhere, but like there's something where he's, there's some dominant stuff. And then when you guys change it a little bit, no more bed, I said sit, I mean sit, all this stuff. And then he just goes, oh, I just felt like biting that guy, Joel, when, I, when he, but I didn't really know I couldn't, but now I kind of know I can't. Like there, those are two different things. One is I just feel like doing it, and then one is mental illness. Yeah. Sometimes I do feel like he just does it because he thinks he can. Okay. Like it's just like he's I would, I would, I would rather have it. that than like a mental illness. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a possibility it's mental illness, but the way that he does it and the way he reacts afterward, it's just like he was just irritated by it, and that was yeah. how he stopped it from happening. Yeah, like we can't have anyone bit, a trainer bit. Like it's a big deal. It changes lives. Yeah. Changes dogs' lives. It cha it's a big ass deal. He's off muzzle with us right now because I've seen so many dogs that it would make no sense if they bit. It would make no sense if he bit. So it's just trying to figure it out. Make no sense, you know? So, okay. First stage is changing things at home. What is other situations where you ask him or you, you, you say no or his name and, and bad behaviors he does at home? He Counter likes service. to go out on, no, he doesn't oh, okay, go He ahead. does like to go outside and if he's waiting at the door and no one lets him out, like not to go pee, like just to go sit out there like yeah. on the porch, it, he'll start scratching at the door. Oh, yeah, my dog does that. Um, and he'll do it coming back in too. He'll go to go outside. Yeah, like he'll go outside, he'll scratch if I'm not there in 30 seconds and then like come back in, he'll do the same thing. Yeah. I'd say a lot of the stuff that he doesn't listen to us is when he's out recall, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. and then on walks pulling. Like Where mentioned. would you be where you ask a recall? Our backyard, our like little fenced uh, in area. And he still doesn't come in your backyard? Not all the time, no. He doesn't really come in the house all the time either. Okay. Uh, here's... doesn't really listen that good in general, actually. Raleigh! Good boy. Good boy. Here, put him on the leash. I think, every, I think you guys would be more comfortable. I think everyone would be more comfortable. <laughs> he looks great, though, guys. Yeah. He looks perfect. He's looked perfect today. Yeah. And I know you want to see him be bad so that I can see him. People do. <laughs> like, you don't invite somebody, yeah, but you kind of want me to see what you have seen. Most, most people do. Yeah. But he has looked perfect, and that's, that's good. You know? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, he, we board him, they never muzzle him, and they say that if he's needed, we board him yeah. in probably five different facilities, they always do fine. And you still do that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we give we them, like, the... we give them, like, warnings and warnings, yeah. and yeah. But they, yeah, they, we come back, and the muzzle's not on him, and they're like, oh, no, 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 he's great. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, like, he's home more stuff. Dogs. Yeah, he does, they don't dogs. usually play. Uh, but he does really well with all of the people who work there. And, and then, like, my parents just came to town and were here for five days. He never, like, once looked, looked at them sideways or anything. Just, it's just weird. But, like, when this last thing happened where he got out and he just, like, went after I that know. dog, there's a family, like, this is, like, a family that plays in that same little green area outside of our house all the time. And I was like, so if he got out and it wasn't a dog there, what if it was, like, a little, like, a Person. little kid? Like, would he have done the same thing? It's like, I cannot have him. In the house, if he's gonna, if he's gonna be like that, like, there's just no way. Um, but I don't know if that's something you can even. You can, well, you can never give us a guarantee he won't do something like that, you know. Well, there's human error there. Yeah. Right. For sure. Um, that doesn't mean he is good. That he did what he did, but you have to keep the door latched. Yeah. I can't. You could do a boarding train. I couldn't promise he's not running out the door and. Right. Hopefully, it doesn't attack. But I can't promise he's not going to run out the door. It's like the main thing for counter surfing is stop leaving steaks at the corner of the counter. Like that's the easiest <laughs> yeah. way. Yeah. Don't let them out of the house. Just keep 
and, and I realize mistakes are going to happen, yeah. but like you have to really minimize those mistakes on your part. Yeah. And like I said, you could have bought yourself an, an insurance policy today with the playing with dogs. So you do leave the latch open. He runs out. Maybe it's not so I'm bad. not saying, yeah, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's 50% less. Maybe it doesn't happen. But I can't promise you, even after training, that he can fly out the door and, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to send you this video. So it's a reliable recall video, okay? It was only two days ago, so you can find it if it doesn't come through. And it's about certain things. He's not coming to you in the backyard. You gotta change the tone of the k, like come, hit it. it needs to hit a higher note. You need to have your hand down. And I'm gonna explain all this. Like we need to help him more on the recall so that we know he's blowing you off. If you say, Raleigh, come, and it hits high pitch, and your hands down, which is this really good cue, and he's like, no, you can then confidently head out after him and grab him and bring him back and sit him down, which I explained in this video, and then you're gonna fix that recall, okay? But, and it's got, there's nuance to it though. Makes sense? So you gotta start with this, this will change things too. Cool. I'm gonna say recall. Okay, there's the recall video. We'll keep this up in case there's any more videos to send you. Um, pulling on leash, uh, I would use a gentle leader yeah. on your walks. Okay, that's gonna fix the pulling. Um, he doesn't jump on you. He doesn't, he's not gonna sleep in your bed anymore. I think this is stage one right now. Meeting dogs today, getting no nonsense, working on recall, working on loose leash walking, not working on resource guarding of food. Uh, you don't need to like go overly hardcore and like mean. When I say like military style house, that doesn't mean that is what I say goes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, not yelling, it's not, there is some grabbing get off the furniture. I think you gotta be a little careful too. He's, he will bite you with food. Oh yeah. That means he could bite you with something else. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, he's never done that before, which is good. So, so maybe ramp up to what I'm saying. Like, don't go from where you are now to like hardcore. Like, ramp up a little bit and make sure that he can accept it. You know, does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Like, if he's getting, if it's off the couch, like that's a a, a weird area. Grabbing yeah. them to like go get off the couch. He's pretty good about that because I, I will do that if I want someone on the couch, I'll just boot him off. But we'll be careful. Yeah. 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 And he's never. Good. Yeah. Just be, got a place to start. Yeah. What are you guys thinking? How are you feeling? I don't know. I don't know either. Anxious, kind of. Yeah. What? What like was that? Anxious, kind of. Anxious. Yeah. In what way? I mean, that's normal. That's fine. But like, in what way? I don't know. I just wanted to work. <laughs> yeah. No. You wanted to work. Yeah. Um. I think this is a good place to start. Okay. We're changing things. Mm -hmm. There's things being implemented. Real changes. And I see a pretty darn good dog, but then we have these weird, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on. Yeah. You know? Do you think that there's a way for us to like make it so that he gets to do what he did today more often? Like Something mm, where great like question. around animals to like condition him that it's okay if we're at, without endangering. Yes. Yeah. You have neighbors with dogs that you like? <laughs> um, I, um, I mean. Yeah, one. Like Elon? Yeah. But that's an aggressive dog too. So oh, that's okay. Good. Neighbors or but, family with good maybe dogs. Rachel's dog. Oh, maybe Rachel's dogs. Yeah. yeah, our friends have a couple dogs. Two female black labs. Two female black labs. I think he, I think, yeah, he should play with dogs. Wasn't that your question? Yes. You just asked, yeah. Yeah, I think he should play with dogs. I would do what we did today. Do you have a fence at the side of your house? Like, like a lot of houses have this in a yard and then they have fences like that are near the street driveway. Do you have fences here? Mm -hmm. We just have like a back patio area. Yeah, we have a fence. No fence. Oh. Fence, it's fence, fence, but it's fence, back. back. It's just but like it's a small, it's like probably yeah, like the size of your Sort of. I guess, yeah, my point is, like, if he can meet the dogs here and he's here. How did he meet Prince? Through a fence. Yeah. On a leash. It was a good way, and it worked. So, proof's in the pudding. Yeah, he could do that. 
He yeah. could. Yes. Yeah. Rather than just dog through the front door. Yeah. That's yeah. not good. Have like a little really, with him, I would like. I would do the fence meeting, and then I would go on a quick walk together okay. to get him kind of out of the house. Then I would flow right into your backyard okay. and go muzzle on just because, and he's great with it, and then off-leash play with dogs. Okay. But he should start being with dogs. Yeah. Okay. And, and use that muzzle for a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and stop with the collar, do you think? The shock is like whatever vibration collar it is. You said yes, stop with that. Yes, I would definitely. That could, that could be part of the unpredictability of him. That's what they do. The only reason I'm not saying that like hardcore is like, you guys are like, he hasn't used him forever. And yeah. you know, it's kind of like, but he did go to training with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, I, and I know the place he went and they're serious shot collar, e-collar trainers. Yeah. yeah. They turn those things up and you know, yeah. and it can, it, can, it can do some damage, you know. If done wrong. Okay, play with dogs. If it gets serious at home, let me write some of this down. Gentle leader, you know? Yeah. But there's there's two heads. Like, you guys can remember it, or yeah, you want me to write it down? I think we might, we might have it. Yeah, I think yeah. we got it. Yeah. Okay. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of it's stuff that we were kind of expecting you to say. Yeah. Mm. We've talked about doing it. We've done it for short periods in the past and it's never stuck with it. But we'll do we well. Yes. Yeah. We'll stick with it. And that's what people go to like a personal trainer because the trainer tells them stuff but then they have to come back a week later because the trainer's like, you're not doing what I told you to do. I, I, I tore my ACL. They said, do all this physical therapy. I didn't do it like at all. And then I'd go and they'd go, no, you need to do this. Like I needed that to tell me multiple times. So you can come back really good like students like I wasn't with the ACL but really good people will just do it like keep doing it don't don't need me in a month or a week to say oh are you doing the couch thing and you guys go no like just just do it then you don't have to pay me the money yeah. to tell you to do it more you know <laughs> so just try to do it yeah no we're gonna do it okay good yes. and don't in in 10 days don't like soften up unless you see him be better then soften up yeah and be careful Yeah, but I don't want anyone getting bit. I know you guys don't think it'll happen, but just, just don't don't get like if he's on the couch and you're like Joel would be like yelling, and grab and like start like ramp up a little bit to where you know he can handle things. Yeah. You know. Sure. I mean the couch is not a food bowl, but it is a resource in a way, and they can guard it in a way. Mm. And he, in a certain context, he will. He has no problem growling at you. Yeah. That's like a problem. Like it's in his head that I can growl at this guy. Like it isn't even in my dog's head that he could ever do that to me, you know? Yeah. And so you have to assume that that context could shift sure. to something right. else and be a little careful, yeah. okay? While at the same time, understanding that like, I do have to like, assert my will in some ways like I can't just let him can't run the house <laughs> can't run the house sorry yeah. I talk a lot yeah <laughs> you get it okay we are at about the time I want like final questions um what, like say that someone was to come into the house or, like, like a person like not an animal yes. like a person was coming over okay what's your recommendation? thank you because we have this problem yeah <laughs> What does he do now? He's off leash? He goes into the room. We put him in a different room. Yeah. Different room. We got to get rid of the different room. He's got to be in the room because he doesn't see. And then do you eventually let him out? No. no. Not recently. But family you do because he knows family. Yes. When family comes over, what's he totally loose? Yes. Yep. Okay. With this dog, I would do one of two things. I want him away from the doorway. Mm -hmm. I think you should do almost the same thing with family or random person. So either I bolt or if you have a big heavy table or eye bolt in the wall, a leash and maybe a bed. You, they knock on the door, he's over here and you greet the people, hi, hugs, let him know that, that you guys love these, this person like we did down there. Or one of you is back here with him on a leash. Okay, then you hug the people 
then I would probably use food with him. He's really into food. I would then, you want to do it right, I would then say, hey, can you toss my dog treats? So we got him out of the crazy doorway. We let him know that the family loves these people and you cannot be mean to them, which is very powerful actually. Then we had the people be treat machines, which builds up this classical conditioning response of new person gives me treats, hence I love new person. Then if it's up to you guys, then it's muzzle on off leash just so everyone can chill and he's not gonna, he's not gonna send anybody to the doctor. Yeah. Or muzzle off. Based on today, I've seen only goodness. That's why I'm giving you the option, you know? I mean, I'm not the boss. Like, yeah. You guys can do whatever you want, but you see the process? Yep. Him up in the room, he doesn't experience any of anything. He doesn't even know someone, he knows someone's there, but it's not desensitizing, he's not, being reinforced for goodness or punished for badness is just up in a room. Yeah. And if he does something bad to the people, and you can even, like, let's see, I'm on a leash. Gray goes and meets them. Hey, hey, you guys mind my dog trying to, to do this? Give some treats. Then if he does anything bad to them, you correct on a leash and you walk him over here, sit down or sit. And he's like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't know I couldn't growl at that person. And then maybe let him go. Hey, feed, feed him again, please punished for the growl, your gut tells you he growls or nips because he doesn't know he can't. So that correction is saying, no, you can't do that. Can't do that. And he's like, oh, I never knew that. I hope it's, oh, I never knew that. And not mental stuff, either due to e-collar or just mental stuff. That's way harder to fix than, oh, I didn't know I can do that. Yeah. I know, oh, I didn't know I can do that can be fixed in two corrections. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I don't know. We were like relieving the other day and we were like, I don't know if we should be doing this one. Nah, I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Hey, when you're gone, if he's on the furniture, that's not as big of a deal as when you're home. Okay. If you don't want to leave him in the crate, yeah. Okay, cool. He doesn't care, but... It's not as yeah. clear to, you can't be on the furniture if he does it when you're gone, okay. but it's worse if he does it when you're home. All right, we could talk all day probably. So, yeah. good job. He did good. Thank you. Yeah, really appreciate time. it. You can make another appointment. I don't want to send you guys off and be like, I'm never going to see you again. You can make another appointment. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Do you need more? Yes, you need more, actually. But, you know, it's not cheap. I get it. It's fine. Then you should do another appointment. Okay. Yeah. I mean, okay, we will. yeah, yeah. Yes. he needs work. Okay. Yeah, for sure. We're, we're happy to do it. Yeah. Okay, so see how this goes. See how it changes. Be careful. No more letting the door ever be unlatched. Yeah, it's if it's unlatched. a kid, it's a whole different story. We can't do it. No. Yeah. Can't do it. Agreed. I have three kids. I don't think my dog ever gets out the front door. Ever. And I have three children going yeah. out the door. Like, I, you know, mm -hmm. yep. you can do it. Yeah, the door latch was broken, but we're fixing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And we do have, we have a front gate too, so yeah. he would have to go through two doors. Generally. But that gate was open because yeah. the trash. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we can stop it. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. It was like a fluke, but yeah. still don't want him. Even if a fluke happens, I'd rather he didn't attack a dog. So. For sure. Still need to correct the behavior, but also there's stuff we can do. For sure. Do so it doesn't happen. Okay. I hear those, those stories all the time. And even nice dogs will run out of the house and attack a dog. It's just. It's hard, it's hard, it's weird and it's hard to fix. So let's just work on not ever letting him do that. Yeah. For, first off. Okay. Okay.